What's up, sea dogs and scallywags? Logan here with another di prop discussion videos. So today we're kind of moving away from Triple Terror because it's just one problem we're talking about, and that is Ethel the Sea Witch animatronic. So Ethel was that last Jimmy prop that I told you guys about that, you know, I thought was kind of the best one out of the bunch. And, you know, I still think that way, honestly. She is the second of the Sea Witch characters, which I thought was really interesting that Lois decided to do two instead of just one. But I can kind of see why they decided to do two, because you have Techies, which is a lot edgier and scarier, and then you have Jimmy's, which is a little more friendly and kind of character driven. So it's kind of like you can either have a scarier character, you know, it's for the more hardcore home haunters, or you can have something a lot more lighthearted and kind of fun. So both sides can have their cake too. Um, I do honestly think that this is a very strong Jimmy animatronic. You will very rarely ever hear me say that. But it is actually not the worst thing I have ever seen in the entire world. Now, granted, I don't absolutely love it. And that's just because I'm not like a generic witch fan. And it does have that basic SVI witch-esque face. And it's just one of those things where I've seen it a million times. Which is why I prefer techies over this one. But, this one has a lot more character to her. She's got kind of more interesting phrases. So, she's kind of a park and bark type of prop. And she actually, she has two phrases I really like. One of them where she puts a curse on your voyage. And another one where she talks about how she was in love with a mariner. Which is a really cool little nod to some folklore. So, I thought those are really cool. The actual design of the prop really doesn't look Jemmy at all. It looks more like SVI. So I think that's a humongous step up from average Jemmy just items in general. I think she just looks really, really good for Jemmy standards, which I'm very impressed with. So let's kind of start with the clothing because the clothing is really neat. So she's got two colored fabrics that are the, kind of the main focus this kind of dark navy blue which forms her hood and then kind of a part of the dress and then underneath it you have this really dark crimson fabric which is really cool and then over that you have it's really hard to see some creepy cloth and i think it's like gray and then over that you have this like um, kind of ghillie suit material. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, camo netting. There we go. Camo netting. And then along her sleeves, she actually has like this really fine net material. Like more fine than what the techie one has that draped over her. So she's got actually more fabric just kind of draped over her like she's kind of been collecting all this stuff and putting it together which you know I do think kind of suits the character they also did give her kind of tanned skin so she's not just white and pasty which again I think was very 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 smart of Jemmy so because you know she's out on the beach so she should be getting a tan um I don't know why she has the aquatic features because I just I don't really get much aquatic from her like the webbed hands me personally she just doesn't scream aquatic character to me nearly as much as say the Jemmy one does or not the Jimmy <laughs> the techie one does and actually I pulled the other picture of her and you can see the creepy cloth more and the fabric that they used for her sleeves, it changed because I look at the original stock photo and I'm looking at Jimmy's picture. It's the same kind of fabric they used on um, Cellar Dweller. That green, which is again cool. I think that moss fabric, it's really neat. But 
I really don't get much aquatic from her in general, and I really don't think the webbed hands were needed. And maybe they just added that so you get, oh, she's a sea witch, but meh. I do like her staff. I like that it's kind of a really pale, like, gray, white color. Because rotting wood does kind of turn that color, and, you know, sometimes it does turn bleach white, depending on, like, the wa like the water and where it's at. So, like, this is, like, the color of my neighbor's rotting fence. Like, kind of funny, but that's just what I think of. And then she's got a sphere that lights up, and then these two bells, and they're actual metal bells, which, again, like, really cool little details. Well... Which I will say, not nearly as detailed as, say, the techie one, which has this super, like, hyper detailed staff with, like, the shells and the seaweed and the lobster claw. And it looks like it's all tied together. But still, I mean, not terrible for Jimmy standards. Really, I, like, the only thing I really don't care for on this is just the face. I just think it looks so generic. I would have liked something different. I mean, I get what they were going for, like, with a sea hag. But it's just not my type of thing. You know? Like, I don't like the super Hagrid witch characters. It's just... It's never been my thing, because, again, it's a super common trope. But I do think, like, her actual character is really neat. I will say the prototype had something that was a lot cooler, which is the first stock photo. And that is she had this real, she had more netting along her sphere instead of the more kind of loose rope. I kind of liked the more fine netting instead where it looks like it's kind of holding it all together. But that's just again, a little nitpick of mine. I also kind of think the thing that's holding the sphere looks more like coral than wood. And I think it'd be cool if they leaned into that and made it look more like coral to really kind of hit that aquatic theme. Just, again, a little nitpick of mine as well, just with that. Her animation's not terrible. She has a moving mouth and a moving arm. I do like the arm with the, the staff this way, so it does make the bells kind of jingle. Which is really, again, really clever of Jimmy to do that. Overall, though, I think it is a pretty decent prop. And for the price point of 180 you are pretty much getting your bang for your buck. It looks pretty decent quality. I'm a fan of the arms being, like, solid plastic. You know, typically they'll just do, like, a hand and then a foam arm. Like, these are, like, actual sculpted arm pieces that they did... Which is something that that has that the Techie one doesn't. Where the Techie one, again, it's just the hands and then it ends like at the hands. They actually went and gave her full arms, which is kind of rare in general in the animatronic world. So, like, in the, I mean, like, you, you see it sometimes, but, like, not as common as, honestly, it should be, in my opinion. So I definitely have to give Jimmy kudos for that because I, I am a fan of that. I think it does really pull this character together even more. But yeah, no. I mean, will I get this? No. I don't see myself getting either one of them, per se. Mainly because the the Servo Witch, I just don't have like a good spot for her. And this one, again, I don't like the Haggard Witch characters. And, you know, I think I think they could have been a little more done. I understand where people are coming from when they say they like this, because obviously it is an objectively well done animatronic. I've definitely kind of sat on this one for a while. I've gotten back and forth mentally on it being good, it being bad. And I think really seeing it and watching an up close video of it, I do think that this one is pretty good. I do still prefer the Taiki one over it, but I do understand why this one has its fans because it is made really well. And knowing that it's Taiki honestly kind of adds more points because if this was SBI, it would be kind of sad. But the fact that Jemmy did this 
I think is more impressive because it does show what they can do versus what they will do, if that makes sense. Like, they could do decent things like this with more detailed sculpts and, you know, fuller limb pieces. They just don't really want to. So, yeah, that's really my full thoughts on this. Um, before we kind of head out, uh, I did get a little request, and I want to hear from everyone else if you kind of feel the same way. I had someone ask me to do the Reaper band members, the, the three new ones, as a Triple Terror video. And I want to hear from you guys if you guys also agree that I should do that. Or if you guys are kind of fine if I don't do that. Um, that If I go through and do that, that would be the last of the low series. If I don't, this one will be and we'll be moving on to Party City next. So definitely let me know down below if you want to see me cover the Reaper Band Trio next. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. Make sure to like, comment, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you the next one. Bye, guys. Set the mood with wonderfully wicked decor from Jemmy. Sailing the seven seas, are ye? A curse upon your voyage! A curse! <laughs> Spare a penny for a tired old lady? No? Hand over your purse and all your candy! Ha <laughs> ha!